Good day everyone, so yesterday we did a bit of Kokomi Hyperbloom and since I didn't really speak in the video and so on, some people that probably were like new to my channel and so on saw the video title and they kind of misinterpreted what we're actually trying to do, which is just have a bit of fun in the spiral burst. So yes, um, as a Kokomi main, I'm fully aware of everything Kokomi can do, including the fact that in certain situations she is even far better, significantly better than Shingshu in these sort of Hyper Bloom teams and so on. Uh, but let's not get down that road. So yes, we are here with Nilo, um, one of my other very, very favorite characters that I've really gone grown to really like I'm um, just like with Nahida very awesome characters and we're just gonna bit of do exactly like we did yesterday play a bit of Nilo Hyper Bloom instead of course with Nilo because I haven't changed her build because I literally just swapped out her weapon we're in a situation where she's not gonna deal significant on field damage so it's just about seeing what her hydro application is gonna be so I kind of swapped in Yaimiko just to sort of get us through a little damage part and yeah to be honest I kind of like I said last year when Nilo came out, you can still use her very, very successfully in these sort of Hyper Bloom teams. It's just going to be a bit more trickier and a bit more, how can I put it, it'll take a bit more skill for you to properly manage a team like this. Uh, but if you do want to do it for the fun of it, you can certainly do so. And of course, I'm probably going to get a comment saying, but what about Shingshu? It's like, look, why do people get so hung up about having to use Shingshu? It's like whenever you, whenever you do something that involves Hydra application, there seems to be this default position that if it's not Shingshu, it's like, uh, it's just like, it, it really is irritating to me. And you might say, well, you could have cleared fast, you could have done this. Well, if I really wanted to set records, i just ditch Xingxu and just use C6R5 Yelon and literally power through the entire Spiral Abyss, which is kind of not the point about this video. The point is to sort of show you how to have fun with different characters that are not Xingxu, Xiangling, Bennett, Kazuha. Um, that's kind of the point. Uh, yeah, by the way, on this final floor, I actually had to do this a couple of times, not because I was struggling, <laughs> no, 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 um, because when I wanted to end this video, you'll see in a bit I wanted to end it with Nilo using her ultimate and I got something that more or less worked out but I wanted you know I love finishing things here in style because that's just kind of like how I sort of roll with it but yeah all right so as this video is going to start sort of coming to an end um, I'm looking forward to Nilo's rerun I want to get to see if I can get more constellations and so on uh, so we can have a bit more power and hopefully you'll be able to see um, a bit more like damage output or throughput from Nilo herself um, in situations like this I think it'll be like quite quite interesting but yeah that's what I have to say Nilo absolutely a fun character outside of her niche something that is a bit of a taboo Theory crafters, content creators don't want you to see this, obviously. Uh, but from my perspective, hey, as long as you're having fun, it really, really doesn't matter because this game is just a casual game. All right, all right, guys, thanks for watching and have a great day. Cheers.